accuracy on the tour this season, 64%. Okay. We talked about young Aaron White not necessarily looking very confident, looking like the game is hard. This is the opposite. Man, the game looks easy to him. He's standing over his three and four and five footers and knock him in the center of the hole. He's hitting the middle of the fairway. It's been one of those we've said for years. He went six years without winning anywhere in the world and was still in the top 100, which is an impressive feat if you do the math. Just a little bit of a rise right there in front of him. Yeah. Wow. That has been the difference, that club. Well, you know, when you go from 191 to 17th in one week, and then you produce an eight-shot victory. On the tee at the 10th, the par five. Molinari. Well, you have the bunker down the right hand side, but uh, I think it's more of a visual kind of work it off that bunker as Molinari's ball just starts sprinting down the fairway. There's an indication just how firm the golf course I'm for it. I mean, as long as they stay within the rules. Now, Molinari with his second shot. Oh. How good is this? That is outstanding right there. Molinari for Eagle at 10. Should move a little bit to the right. Twenty six birdies or better in the last eighty two holes that he's played shot Molinari has hit seventy one of his last eighty two greens in regulation. He got in uh, into the FedEx Cup playoffs and ultimately hopefully into the tour championship field. Making it look pretty darn easy. I'm back to 13T for Molinari. And I like the definition of this tee shot width. You have the bunkers down the left. You have them staggered right and left. You can work it in either direction. And again, Molinari, as Dottie said just a moment ago, he's only missed one fairway today. Especially when it's not going in. <laughs> a lot of things look like they're happening. Molinari. Directly over the flag stick again for Francesco. It's kind of like, is this a tape? <laughs> is this on tape? We have seen this man hold some putts, and I think that's got to be the majority of the difference, Ned, and uh, and where he's gone to this different level with his game. He is really holding a lot of putts. Kind of a thought to keep in mind uh, as you play a bunker shot like this for the people at home. You want to aim at the top of the flag stick. Oof. That'll work. That'll kind of make you carry it that that little extra distance that Jerry was talking about how players come up short. But that was an excellent golf shot there. <laughs> yeah, that's nice up and in. Yep. From Molinari right there. A good bunker shot. Been running hot with this club. For nearly 15 feet. Swish. What else do we need to say, Ned? I mean, he is holding putt after putt, and he is delighted to get off of the 16th with just dropping one shot. But unfortunate timing for the defending champion. Now back to 18, Molinari's second. That was a really nicely struck seven iron from 175. Drew it in from the right center of the green. Oh, that is so pretty, Jerry. That's a kick in right there. Go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> That's good. What a round for Francesco Molinari today. With a couple of bogeys, he shoots 65. 30 birdies or better in his last 90 holes played.